This is a very simple dish in appearance using prime ingredients, but it is packed with layers of flavor. First up, we're gonna cook the lobster. Now it's very important, the boiling water. In here I have three liters of water and I'm gonna add 70 grams of salt so the seasoning is always consistent. Now to cook the lobster, there's a couple of parts to it. We have the two claws, which we're gonna remove. We have the tail, which is some beautiful meat. And the head is packed with flavor, so we'll use that for our sauce. So what we do is we get a nice sharp knife, we find between the eyes, we go straight down, kills the lobster instantly. Then all we do is we remove the claws and the tail from the body. And before we cook the tail, we're gonna remove the waist sack. It's very easy, we find the middle spine of the tail. What I do is I twist on both sides. I crack the middle prong of the tail. And then what we do is very, very slowly, as it comes out, that goes straight in the bin. Now the time's for cooking. Claws go in for five minutes, and the tail will go in for the last two. Three minutes have passed, now the tail goes in for two. Five minutes have passed, to take out the claws and the tail. Straight into iced water, stop the cooking process immediately. I'll leave that there for about five minutes, and then we can crack open the meat. The shells are cold, so it's time to crack them open and extract the meat. The first thing I do is I take the knuckles off. There's a piece of cartilage in here that I want to get out from the meat. So I crack both sides very gently. And what I do is I wiggle and then just really slowly release that cartilage. And what I do is I get a heavy base knife. We're going to use the back of it. I give it a couple of taps here. And then very, very slowly, I release the top of the claw shell and slip it out. That white part is just a little bit of excess protein that can be washed off. There's still a lot of flavor in these shells, so I'm gonna keep them for our pasta sauce. Then with the tail, what I do is I get my hand around the back of it and using the tops of my fingers and the fat of my thumb, I just crack and then just like peeling, I just pull out the layers of the shell very carefully so not to rip or crack the meat. When I get halfway through, I can just gently wiggle the tail to release that meat out. There we have all the parts of the lobster. I'm just gonna leave that in the fridge so we're ready to use it later. Now, we're gonna use the lobster head and the shells to make a beautiful sauce to coat the pasta. First thing you need to do is roast some veg. Cutting the veg quite small. That's because we're only gonna cook it for about 30 minutes. So we need to get the maximum amount of flavor out of it. Now, get a heavy base saucepan on the heat. Carrots go in first. I wanna get them nice and golden brown. Once we get a bit of color on the carrots, straight in with the onions. Once you have some nice color on the onions and the garlic, we're gonna return the shells that we cracked earlier into the pan. We're also gonna add the head of the lobster. Once that's in, we're gonna crush it all with a heavy base rolling pin. It might look a little barbaric, but it'll be worth it for the extra flavor. Now we're gonna add some layers of flavor to the pan. First of which is some tomato paste. After that, I'm gonna add some coriander seeds and one star anise. Gives a lovely aniseed flavor in the background of the sauce. Now we're gonna add in a little bit of orange liqueur. And orange goes really well with lobster. Just be careful of the flambe. Ooh. Once the flame is gone, I'll go in with a good amount of white wine. Then when the white wine is reduced by half, we're gonna cover it with some shellfish stock. Now you can use chicken stock if that's all you have. To finish it off, I'm gonna go in with some garlic, a little bit of orange zest, and the key ingredient, some saffron. After about half an hour simmering, all the flavor is extracted from that lobster. So all we need to do is pass off the liquid and reduce it down to a sauce. Then put the stock back on the heat, full blast, and reduce it by half. While that's reducing, we're gonna work on our lobster meat from earlier. With the tail, all I do is I'm gonna place it on a tray with a good knob of butter and a couple of spoons from our reduced sauce, just so it glazes nicely in the oven. Now I'm gonna cover it in a layer of cling film. What this will do 
is it will protect the lobster tail from the dry heat in that low oven. I'll leave that in there for 15 minutes at 80 degrees Celsius. All that's left to do is chop up our claw meat to go through the sauce. Once that's diced, it's time to cook our pasta. Have some water on the go here. I'm gonna heavily season it with sea salt. Once that comes to the boil, I go in with a nice handful of linguine. I'm using dried linguine. I'm gonna cook it al dente about nine or 10 minutes till it's just cooked. Our pasta is nearly cooked. It's about two minutes off, so time for the finishing moves. So in this bowl, I have two egg yolks. I'm gonna go in with a touch of black pepper, and then because we're using lobster here, I'm gonna add the zest and juice of a lemon. To finish this off, we're gonna use a little bit of this pasta water. So that's gonna to start to cook our egg yolk and thicken it up. So our sauce is ready to go. It's reduced down. I'm just gonna use that residual heat to warm up our diced claw meat. We don't wanna boil that claw meat at this point or it'll go rubbery. I'm gonna bring the pasta into the pot. Don't be worried if there's a little bit of that excess water going in. That's full of starch, which is gonna thicken up. So mix it around. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of our egg yolk and water mixture with that pepper and lemon. And it's very important at this point that we keep it over a very light heat, residual heat, so that egg yolk will start to thicken and create an emulsion sauce. And we want the sauce to coat the pasta. Just before we plate it up, I give it a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Pasta's ready. So I'm just using that trick with the ladle and my tongs to create a lovely dome so it looks neat and tidy on the plate. And look at that, the sauce is just coating the pasta. Gonna finish it with a little bit of that excess sauce and that little diced claw meat just on the top to coat it nicely. Final touch, a little bit of greenery, just some nice dill tops. Look at that, beautiful, simple, great ingredients, simplicity on a plate. Mm -hmm.